All right, let's go ahead and graph this. So I noticed that over here, my restricted domain tells me at three. So let me go ahead and draw that line at three. It's nice if you have color pencils or highlighters, kind of visually see it. And let's go ahead and graph uh, x minus one. Remember, try to use in our pencil first and then go back and you can use your colors. So class, where am I starting? Negative one. What type of slope? Rise of one, up one. Up one, right one. Okay, here, what do I do? Open or close? It's closed because it's what? It's an equals. So go ahead and draw your line. What does it mean to be less than or equal to three? What part am I gonna erase? Well, I'm gonna highlight in to the left, right? So that means I need to erase everything to the right. X minus one if X is less than or equal to three. So close circle. And you should have something like this. Raise your hand if you got that so far. Okay. Now, here, this one says f of x equals negative 1. And we said that f of x is an easier way of saying y equals negative 1, right? Okay. So if I make a table of values, what does it tell you about all the y values? It's telling you the answer. They're all negative 1. You have no x values. What can you do? you make them up. We're essentially graphing the line y equals negative 1. 0, negative 1. 1, negative 1. 2, negative 1. What type of line do you have, class? You've got a horizontal. Okay. Uh, open or closed circle? It's an open circle at x equals 3. And I need values that are greater than 3. So where's that going to be? To the right. Erase your marks. Class, is this continuous or discontinuous? This would be a discontinuous. Is this removable or is this a jump? This would be a jump discontinuous. 